When Overwatch was released in May of 2016, it quickly became one of the most popular titles in gaming. It was a fresh new take on a stagnant FPS genre that sparked interest from players all over the world. It didn't take long for people to take the game seriously, and quickly a competitive scene was born. By the end of the year, Blizzard announced the Overwatch League, and players everywhere strive to make the cut. In 2018, the League launched, and the newly formed London Spitfire became the first ever Overwatch League champions. Twelve teams took part in the League's inaugural season. Talent was selected from all over the world so that only the best of the best were invited to compete. Even with all of the incredible players that were in the competition, the London Spitfire immediately stood out as a frontrunner. The team was founded and is operated by the current owner of Cloud9, Jack Etienne. Jack understands esports as well as any owner and immediately got to work putting together the best team possible. Rather than try to assemble a squad from scratch, the Spitfire grabbed players from two of the best Korean teams at the time, GC Busan and Kongdu. These two teams were some of the best on the Korean circuit before the Overwatch League came into existence, and Korea's traditional dominance in esports made it seem inevitable that they would be the best in this new stage as well. The team was an immediate standout on paper, and it didn't take long to come together. They finished third in the first stage and won the first ever stage playoffs. This solidified what many already knew. This team was on track to become the inaugural champions. London Spitfire will be your Overwatch League Stage 1 champion. They finished the second stage in second place as they were upset by the Philadelphia Fusion in the semifinals of the stage playoffs. The following two stages went even worse for the team, finishing in sixth and ninth places respectively and missing both playoffs entirely. The team that had started out so strong was now faltering and only barely qualified for the final playoffs of the season. Entering the season-long playoffs, all eyes were now on the New York Excelsior, as they had finished the season with the best record by far and made all four stage finals, winning two of them. Letting London fly under the radar was a mistake, though, as they were still an incredibly talented team that deserved the utmost respect. In the quarterfinals, they had a close series with the Los Angeles Gladiators that went the distance. They lost all three matches on the first day, but absolutely dominated the second day of quarterfinal action, winning six consecutive maps to move on to the semifinals. Here they encountered the Los Angeles Valiant and showed no signs of slowing down. Full of confidence from their quarterfinal performance, they emerged on top 3-1 to one after the first match day and swept the second series 3 to nothing to secure their spot in the finals. Many expected them to encounter New York there for a rematch of the Stage 1 playoffs, but instead they found the Philadelphia Fusion, who shocked the world by sweeping New York on the opposite side of the bracket. Philadelphia was able to win the first map of the finals, but from there the series was entirely dominated by the Spitfire. London won three straight maps to close out the first day 3-1, and on day two didn't drop a map en route to becoming the first ever Overwatch League champions. And they will be our inaugural champions. The season may not have gone as smoothly as they would have liked, but the London Spitfire ultimately proved that they were the best team in the world. It was an incredible ending to a roller coaster of a season, but London proved that when a group is as talented as they were, you can never count them out.